Hi guys. <laughs> okay, so right now it is actually 10.16 at night. And this is what I'm looking like. I honestly just decided to sit down and record this video as I am. Like I did it, tried to fix my hair, put on earrings, none of that. Like I'm literally just gonna sit down and do my makeup as I am. Like why lie? Why pretend to be someone I'm not? So yeah, um... <laughs> Pretty much, I'm gonna be getting ready with you guys. <sighs> I miss these videos so much. Like, I paused for a second because I wasn't sure what I wanted to say next. But I really miss having this time by myself, you know? What the fuck is that? I thought something on this. Oh, it's a, it's a really new leave. Anyways, um, should we turn it? Does it look Okay, so yeah guys, this is my new little setup. Do you guys like it or how are you guys feeling about it? Um, I'm honestly so exhausted. I am so tired. It's been such a long day. Um, oh, but like I said, I'm just going to be getting ready and just chit chat with you guys. Catch you guys up. Like, have a little good talk like we used to back in the day before I was a mother and had some time for myself. Um... So yeah, I wanted. I actually received these three boxes in the mail today. By the way, this is not sponsored by BoxyCharm, but they did send these out to me. So I will be using um, as many products as I can from these boxes. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what comes in them. Um, I opened them really quick, but I didn't see what's in there. I just wanted to make sure it was open so it was easier for the video. But I'm sorry if my voice sounds like gangosa or like I sound sick. I think it's the AC. Um, it was really cold. I just turned it off actually. So, yeah, anyways. Um, so, yeah, this morning I actually went to pick up all packages and stuff. And these were in the mail. So, I was like, why not test out some new products, some new makeup, and get ready with you guys, you know? So, yeah, Sebastian and Jorge are currently in the other room minding their business while mommy does her things. So,. Uh, I lost my mirror. I don't know where I left it. So all I have to use today is this tiny one, which is very dirty, by the way. Let me go ahead and clean it up a little bit. Um, can I just mention my creativity has been long gone. It is deleted. It has been removed for my system. So yeah, don't judge me on whatever look I do today, okay? Okay, I'm talking too much. Um, so I actually received these three boxes, which are... Um, so I got the base box, the luxe box, and the premium box. You guys, I have been subscribed to the Boxy Charm for such a long time. Like, it's been years and years. Like, maybe ever since like 2018, I think, or even before that. I don't remember. But um, I remember whenever I first subscribed, I was working like at Jersey Mike's, um, making subs and stuff, getting my monthly box every month. And then later on, I grew on social media, and then um, they actually started sending me their pack, their things, and sponsoring me and stuff, which was like such a big deal to me because I was like, what the hell? No way! I've been like subscribed for such a long time, you know. Here's how I stand crying. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to start off with the base box. I'm going to open them all up first just so I can see um, all the products we're working with and see what we can use for today's video. By the way, by the way, I will leave a link down below if you guys want to subscribe. <laughs> it is a commission link, so if you guys do decide to subscribe, I am getting some money out of that. Just to make that clear, I need to search up the prices and stuff so you guys, if you guys don't know about BoxyCharm, so you guys can get a better idea of how it works. Pretty much you get a, a box, whichever one you're paying for, once a month. And the base box is $25. The premium box is $35. And yeah, I think the premium box is just like an upgrade. And you get eight full-size products every three months for an additional $25. Anyways, um, yeah, they, you get full-size products. So it's not like you're getting little samples or stuff like that. So yeah. So now to start getting ready, honey. I'm going to go ahead and use this Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Primer. Um, it's illuminating. Let's see how this... If today's look is a complete disaster, I'm so sorry. We're trying out new products and honestly, I usually just stick to the same thing over and over again because I already know like how it's going to work. And being a mom is just like... You don't have 
time to be trying new things you know like what if it doesn't work out and your makeup is a mess oh my god oh yeah but like i said if you guys want to subscribe to the monthly boxy charm boxes um i will leave a link in my description for you guys um to go ahead and use it okay i feel like this primer almost has like a little tint to it like maybe it's just like highlighter but look it's like um it's like a little creamy i'm gonna add a little bit because i feel like it already dried down i ran to the room and went to kiss her last day because i was like i miss my baby but anyways uh, i'm just gonna prime just i'm not gonna use any other primer just to see how this one wears and looks um moving on wait i want to see this product this is the gloss um it's the cheek and lip tint so i think maybe this is like a um like a liquid product or like a wet product so maybe i have to use it oh i like this packaging maybe i have to use it oh yeah yeah it is so <sighs> okay so from now on i'm just gonna try my best to talk to you guys okay and just let it everything out and set myself free um i don't think i'm gonna be doing like a whole like foundation base i'm just gonna do some concealer yeah that's what we're doing today um so where do i begin where do i even start life has been crazy i'm just kidding it's been boring but it's been a lot like i feel like ever since becoming a mom life does change a lot and sometimes you think the hard part like the hard part is pregnancy and pregnancy is easy girl like the hard part is everything that comes after that um i don't really like how my face is looking but hopefully um, hopefully it gets better i'm gonna be using the elf concealer it's the hydrating one. I'm just gonna go underneath my eyes. And then right here. And then right here. This has actually been like my go to go look. I don't really use foundation now. Um but yeah, like I said, um it's just been it's just a lot, like I think the thing is just having like knowing for a fact that you're responsible for a life that is it, your own obviously and when it's your like your child's like your your son's life it's so scary to think that his entire existence depends on me you know it like it depends on how well i take care of him how well i feed him like i'm setting him up for the future you know so i think like a big part of like me being i think just the big part of being a mom is always being worried about are you doing everything good is are you making the right decisions are you feeding him enough are you feeding him too little or too much or is he getting enough sleep like should he be on a sleeping schedule should he not should he wake up at certain times should you know like just is he getting enough water? Is he getting enough sun? Is he not? Like, you know, like, it's just a lot to think about. And it will drive you fucking crazy, honestly. But, um, I, I guess you learn as you go. Like, nobody was born knowing how to be a mom. Obviously, you are born with that motherly instinct. You know, a lot of people, some women have it more, like, developed than others. And, some are just not meant to be moms ever, you know, like in their entire lifetime. But I feel like once you have a baby, you will know what to do and you know, like, for the most part, like, you'll know what's up, you know, like, you know how to do things and you'll feel when he wakes up, you'll feel when he's sleepy, you'll, like, you'll get to know your kid. I'm, by the way, I always just talk about motherly stuff because I'm a mom now, okay? um so yeah don't mind me um so yeah i now i'm just pretty much taking um whatever's left over on my beauty blender 
So the rest of my face, just to give it maybe like whatever I can get, you know. Um, I did want to like talk about something that it's not that it bothers me. I just feel like a lot of people don't understand. Like you guys see, I understand if you guys follow different influencers, like you, I mean, obviously everyone does. Everyone has people they look up to. Everyone has, you know, people like they think that you, everyone follows that person that you think has the perfect life and has everything figured out and knows exactly what they're doing all the time and it's so perfect in everything they do and it's always ready it's always dressed up it's always like cake faced and all that stuff and lately i've just been getting a lot of comments i get it okay maybe i used to be this person that was always um ready with her makeup done and always going out and partying and, no no that wasn't even that person but i was always ready and looking good and everything but after becoming a mother is i'm not saying like you forget about yourself but you're not you're like no longer your priority like i feel like now it's like you have a whole child to educate and to care for and to feed all the time and make sure he's fine all the time and to entertain because now my baby is eight months he's eight months now like how crazy is that but anyways like he's eight months and he needs to be entertained like all the time like he is not like he he just sleeps all day anymore he doesn't even sleep throughout the day sometimes like i mean he does but just a little bit that was probably way too much but whatever um so yeah i just have to like um a lot of my time goes to my baby you know like actually all like my entire day just goes to my baby and if I'm not like um, watching him because he's with his dad or something, I'm cleaning, I'm doing laundry, I'm cooking, I'm doing something, you know? It's not like all day I'm just laying in bed. Sometimes I post stories where we're just laying in bed, like he's watching the cartoons and I'm just there kissing him and stuff. Um, but that's not me all day. Like I always have something to do because I'm a wife now. Did you guys know I'm married? Did I tell you guys? I look fucking crazy, but anyways, yeah, I'm married, and I mean, it's not the fact that I'm married. I mean, I've been living with him for such a long time now, and I mean, not a long time, but you guys understand what I'm saying, like, over a year now, maybe like two years, I think, damn, time flies. So, yeah, we've been living together, so I'm a housewife. I work from home. I'm always home. Um, I clean, I cook, I have a child, I feed them, I... I do it all so trust me whenever you guys are messaging me telling me why aren't you getting ready anymore why aren't you doing this why aren't you doing that i am busy like i am doing other things that are more important like and plus i'm not i'm not the type of person that you follow because you think she's perfect i'm that person you're gonna follow because you think you can relate to her and you i want you to feel like i'm a real person like sometimes you guys forget i'm a fucking human like i'm pretty sure you at home like criticizing me telling me oh my god you, you never get ready anymore you yourself are sitting there laying on your couch watching me with no makeup on your hair up like i look right now and wearing some biker shorts with a t-shirt so why do you expect for me i'm human too why do you expect for me i'm a new mom to me all dressed up wearing some heels around my house with my hair all done looking all fucking crazy like you understand like if it's not realistic like it just really isn't it's not realistic and whatever influencers have made you feel like that's how your life should be i'm sorry but that's not like the best example to set to anyone because that's so unrealistic it's just so annoying for everyone to think that you have to look like the hottest bitch ever all day every day and be cute all the time and it's it, that's just not how it happens like you wake up with stinky ass breath and ugly ass hair and your your face your your face all ugly your um, eyes all in shadows and that's 
totally normal because you're human. Like, what do you expect? Um, what is this? Is mascara. I was gonna try some brow product, I think. What is this? Oh, wear eyeshadow. Oh, this is fine. Beacon Beauty. Okay, one. Okay, one Okay. Oh, I think it's this one. Okay. No, why do I not have a brow product? Because that one was just a highlighter. I guess not. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my normal um, eyebrow product. Um, I don't know how you guys do all that feathery, feathery shit, but it just hasn't worked out for me. Maybe I just don't know how to do it correctly. But I've been sticking to the whatever brows. I don't know what that is, but I just look like whatever, literally. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know. I like I even my I myself I follow influencers that make it seem like they're so perfect all the time. And sometimes I'm like, damn, how the fuck do they do it? You know, like how how are you able to watch this child and take perfect pictures and do everything so perfectly? Like I don't know. I just don't understand to be honest. And maybe also, I'm just not the type of mom to tell someone, here, watch my child, I'm gonna go get ready. Like, I do that with Jorge, that's his father, like, he has to, that's his responsibility, you know? But even then, Sebastian is so attached to me, which I love, I'm never gonna complain about that. But I know he'll just be better when I'm with him, you know? Like, I just know for a fact, Sebastian will feel... He'll be much more calm or just enjoy life more when I'm with him, to be honest. And that's my fault because that's how I wanted him to be. And that's how he is because I'm with him 24-7. Thank God I'm able to spend all day with him and every single day of my life with him. Um, But yeah, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like my baby just really takes up a lot of my time and... Like, who cares about getting ready when you have a baby that loves you to death and needs you, you know? Like, I don't know, I guess everyone just has different mentalities, which I understand, but, I don't know. Like, if you're the type of mom that you feel like, I don't care about my baby, I'm gonna, not that you don't care about them, but I'm more important than my baby, I don't know how you guys do it. Just can you guys hear him laughing? Mente, puppy. Ponlo aquí para que lo vean en la cámara. ¡Ay! 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 ¡Uy, mi amor! ¿Estaba llorando, eh? Sí, estoy. ¿Y en cuanto entraste? ¿Estás feliz con mamá? Pues aquí estate conmigo. Aquí está. He's gonna sit here while I finish recording. Hopefully, he's okay. ¿Qué, mi amor? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try to blend this out, but I think it might be a little bit like it. I honestly thought it would be a little bit easier to oh to blend. I mean, in camera, I think it looks fine, but in person, I look crazy. No, I think it's actually it's pretty. It's like pretty subtle, but like still there. It's crazy. I'm gonna use some powder just to set everything in place because I don't like having like um like wet things on my face. I just it just feels sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend right here again so I don't have any creasing. Oh, by the way, this powder I also got from my Buffy Charm like months and maybe years ago. It's this Yachty London Coconut um, Powder. Just I don't know something like that, but. I've been using it lately because it's really like thin, so it doesn't leave like a thick as layer on my face, which I like. And I'm just gonna go over and like where I placed concealer mainly, and then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use a more of like a powdered foundation, um, just a very sheer layer because I already feel like you see the difference that made like it just mattified me and made me look smoother well i think it did oh also i don't know what made me 
or persuade me to start my business right after having a baby because it's been that much harder and like overwhelming i feel like if i would have done this when i was still pregnant i would have had more time on my hands i would have been able to like dedicate more time to my business um which i would have liked um more than i do now because i feel like now i just feel so rushed to do anything and i would like to enjoy it a little bit more you know but whatever um i'm gonna go over my bronzer with a little bit of butter bronzer by the physicians formula just to set it in place and maybe give it a little bit more of a pop um i like how it's looking to be honest i think it looks pretty smooth my eyebrows have just been fucking hectic. I don't know what the hell. This is the end of me, but he's still in here. He's probably going to be in here for the rest of the video. I wish I could hold him and do my makeup at the same time so you guys can see him. He's the most precious thing ever. <gasps> he has two teeth now. Oh my god. I think the teething um, stage, like... Es que se apagó por eso yo que... Um, I think the days when he was teething, when they were about to like pop out, were like the hardest for him. I was actually in Arlington with my family and they were about to pop. So he was so grumpy and so moody and he just wasn't having it, honestly. And it was so tough. It was so hard for us because um, it was just a lot. He was always cranky. Sebastian is such a happy baby all the time, you guys. So... I knew there was something going on because he just wasn't having it. Like, he would cry and cry and cry and cry. And yeah, he was pretty sad. I think he was in pain. And I was really sad because I don't I don't like seeing him in pain. My sister's quinceañera is coming up. Oh, and I actually designed my own dress. Like, I had to take, it as, take my design to someone to do it for me because I looked in so many places, you guys. I looked in so many stores. It's not even that I'm looking for something like too extra or anything. I just couldn't even find like not even a picture of what I had in mind. Like nowhere, not on Pinterest, not on Instagram, not on Google, nowhere. Like I never found a picture, so I had to draw it out like the designer that I am. I actually really enjoy it, like going out to like for the fabrics and like doing all of them. I really enjoyed it and there was so many fabrics and so many different things to design dresses with. Like, imagine me designing clothing. That would be awesome. But I already have too much on my plate, so. I think I'm gonna go over. I actually really like that blush because it's really subtle and I think I almost covered it all up. So I'm gonna go in with my NARS blush that also came in the BoxyCharm box. Um, so maybe just go over a little bit. I love NARS packaging. I've always wanted a NARS foundation, but I've never bought one. Like, why? Like, times I would go to, like, Sephora and stuff to buy a NARS foundation, I would end up with something else. Because they would always recommend me different shit. And, like, maybe I should have just not asked anyone or not listened to anyone and just got my damn um, foundation. This is the Orgasm Ooh, blush by NARS. Let's see. Well, that's pretty. It has like a little shine to it as well, right? Like a little sheen. Um, it's really subtle though. Oh, also, I did want to talk about this because um, I think also a big part of why um, I do think I've turned more Falonga than I I used to not be Falonga at all because I liked my body. And if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, I am not happy with my body right now. I am happier than I was maybe a couple months back, but I am not the happiest because obviously I was used to seeing my body super skinny and like super curvy and like my boobs were in place or perky and you know my stomach was flat and now my boobs hang like fucking cow chichis and my belly is loose like it's not that I'm like fat or yeah I am fat okay but um I think for the most part is more like I have a lot of loose skin which is obviously very normal for a person that just gave birth. I always say for a person that just gave birth but my baby's already 8 months so who am I fooling? But anyways yeah um I think a 
a lot of it i'm gonna be using the marc jacobs mascara a lot of it does have to do with me eating like a fucking pig when i was pregnant but i do not regret it because i enjoyed every single part of my pregnancy and i think i would have been just stressed and annoyed and annoyed to think oh wait let me do a little bit of eyeshadow what am i doing um, it would have just been stressful and annoying. I'm gonna be using this palette, or should we try this? Um, I didn't want to like be stressed my entire pregnancy because I was eating what I was supposed to eat, or not eating what I was supposed to eat. Like, I enjoyed every single craving I got. I ate it. Like, I did not care, and um, I was obviously taking my vitamins and all that. Like, I was still eating um healthy. Like, I, I knew I was getting everything I needed for my baby to be. Um, like healthy and stuff but if I had an antojo of whatever the hell came to my mind at the moment I didn't care and be like oh my god I can't eat that because I'm going to gain weight like no that wasn't me and I think that's what made my pregnancy so great like I enjoyed my pregnancy so so much and like I said I don't regret it even if now I am not happy with my body I don't care because I enjoyed my pregnancy Okay, I did not open this damn box. Okay, <gasps> this is so pretty. Um, oh, this is actually um, this is a highlighting palette. Which who else thinks highlight is no longer the move? Like, I think it's not the thing anymore. Remember when highlight was like the biggest shit ever? Like, everyone had some blind ass highlight, and if you didn't, you were a loser. I remember those times, but now it's like more subtle natural makeup you know which is also great because maybe people are starting to be more confident in their own skin i don't know what it is but um i'm gonna do a very basic look okay like always should we do some color so i'm gonna take this shade is edge this one right here it's like a reddish pinkish orangish okay I'm just gonna take it on my eyelid. Okay, first of all, I expected a lot more pigment from this, but that's fine because you can build it up and it's easier to work with, especially if like, you don't really care to spend hours and hours blending. Um, I think this is fine. But I was expecting a lot more pigment, but it is applying pretty smoothly, so that's good i'm just doing a very minimal like honestly not really trying to do too much it's 11 at night oh it's a 10 at night so who needs to be wearing all this makeup right now i was trying to film this video hours and hours and hours before um now like i this was the plan like hours ago but i never got to it because sebastian just wanted to be all up on me and I was really enjoying him, okay? Because he now, this, no, just like ever since yesterday, he just started pulling on my hair like crazy. So he gets like really close to my face and holds my cheeks and just pulls on my hair. That's what he does now and I love it. Oh yeah, like I was saying, he has two, th two teeth now. Oh, he looks so cute. He knows like a little rabbit. He's so adorable and he does bite me he's bitten me a couple times and he just laughs like i will be screaming in pain and he's just laughing at mom um now i'm gonna go ahead and take um like a bluish shimmer and apply it no let's not do blue yeah let's do just like a very minimal just very 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 light um blue this is the shade limelight in the palette i'm just gonna tap it over just a little bit i'll see you guys as soon as my eye makeup is done okay okay so this is my makeup um honestly the honest my honest opinion on the mascara is actually really good i actually like it i'll give it like a um, eight out of ten I do like it. I think it did make my lashes pop out a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to do any lashes just because, like I said, I'm going straight to sleep after this. So, there's no point. But my lashes are still available on my website, ayazaparticscollection.com. So, I will also leave that link in the description box. Also, we have some new sets available, some new rhinestone shorts, some new fringe jeans, 
we have some options okay so if you guys want to shop for my website don't forget to do so um i'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with my nyx Lin this just this is by nyx okay so i'm just gonna they look so uneven but i think lip gloss will fix it so my friend's already asleep so i'm trying to hurry up so i can go and give him the boob so he can go to sleep so what i can put him down oh this is actually not a lip gloss um it's more of like a maybe matte i don't know how it will dry down but it feels more like a lip stain or something like that like a paint um yeah it does not look glossy at all so oh my god i look fucking crazy um i don't have any lip gloss here oh yeah i do so i'm gonna top it up with some lip gloss hopefully it looks a little bit better it's by Milani, by the way. I'm not gonna add any highlight or anything. I think I look fucking right. Let me try to fix my hair a little bit. Okay. So, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I miss you guys so, so much. But please, let me know what other videos you want to do. Um, You want me to do in my in the future. Oh my god, I can't talk. But, um, yes, yeah, so now I have like my studio set up. I feel much more motivated to record, which is what I needed. It's exactly what I needed. So yeah, if you guys want me to record any other videos, please let me know in the comments below. I love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to shop my website. I love you guys, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.